Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I hope you're all having a magical day, and thank you so much for taking the time to support the channel. We are back with a new Magic the Gathering Arena standard best of one mythic rank deck. It's St. Patrick's Day, baby! So we're playing with mono green aggro. In today's video, we'll break down the deck list, talk about the strategies and synergies held within, demonstrating this within our mythic rank gameplay footage against the best decks and players in the world right now, wrapping up with our final thoughts, deck review, and ooh, woo, our pack opening. We are on our last few set boosters, and then we're gonna be moving on to our collector boosters. Of course, you can also become a YouTube member if you just cannot wait for those collector boosters to be opened as we open one every week to wrap up those YouTube lives, exclusive for our members who support. If you want to support, but don't have the Benjamins, I understand you can like, comment, and subscribe for frizzies, easy easies. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at the deck. That's such a bad habit, sees. St. Patty's Day in the house, mono green, getting down and dirty. And you know, before we even start, full disclosure, my last mono green deck wasn't so great. I know a lot of you did have some success with it in the comments, which warmed my heart. Today, I think we've nailed it. This deck is slapping some of the best decks. Mono black, triple invoking us. No, not enough. Sorry, get out of here. Uh, mono red with near perfect curves. Still not getting there. Yeah, I'm impressed too. Uh, I don't really know what to say. It's a St. Patrick's Day miracle. And it all starts with uh, Sexy Rexy. Yes, for seven mana, you're gonna get an eight, eight. This spell cannot be countered. It has trample, ward four, haste, as well as toxic four. This uh, is a powerful card that has massive impact right away. We will be ramping towards it, which basically means it's protected from any removal thanks to the ward four, because uh, you know it's gonna cost two mana to remove minimum. Uh, and then War 4, which your opponent will need to have 6 mana in play. And we're going to be turning uh, this, uh, as a, <laughs> turning it sideways, if you will, uh, before then, which is really cool. So a big impact with the uh, Tyrannonex Rex, which is really, really a lot of fun to play with. Uh, all these smaller uh, toxic creatures don't matter because we go right over top of them with Trample. Uh, and that's going to be, uh, you know, a common modality of the deck here is trample because we like consistent hits and uh big hits as well so the defiler of vigor is one of the ways that we can reduce the cost of sexy rexy within the deck as a six six for five mana with trample it's an additional cost to cast a green permanent spell you may pay two life this spell will cost two uh sorry one less um green source or forest to cast if you paid life this way uh, it will only reduce the amount of green spell on this spell, uh, green mana on this spell. I'm all over the place here. Uh, I should probably just read the cards. I'm trying to remember it. And then you get to put a plus one, plus one counter on all your creatures. Okay, cool. And because we have uh, trample on all of our creatures, the plus one, plus one counters are going to be uh, cool beans, right? So that A provides, uh, you know, more attack power. B has trample itself. Uh, and then C is going to reduce the cost of our other creature cards. Uh, looking at you, Rexy. We have the Evolved Spinal Derm here for four mana as a 5-5. Five, five. It's going to enter the battlefield with four oil counters on it. It will have Trample as long as it has two or fewer oil counters, otherwise Hexproof. So when it enters play, Hexproof for a couple turns, Protection. We actually like that quite a bit. And then later on, Trample when we need it, right? When they might have a blocker and we're like, ah, oh, we just need a few more damage. Um, so this actually works very, very well. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, remove an oil counter on it. That was on it, remove it. Um, and then if it has no oil counters, sacrifice it. Oakley, Dokley. So that's all we really have uh, in the deck for Trample, but it's all we really need. The rest of the build will just help us ramp into these cards. Now, my favorite of the deck will be Gwenna, Eyes of Gaia, for three mana as a 2-3. We can tap it at two mana of any color to cast creature spells or activate abilities of creature spells. And then whenever you cast a creature spell with power, five or greater, untap Gwenna and 
apply a plus one plus one counter to her, which is phenomenal. So uh, that's going to allow us to cast the Spinoderms for two measly mana. Yes, uh, that's also reducing the Defiler for us, which is really nice, um, as well as the Rex through the untap, which allows us to play multiple creatures in a single turn, which is incredible. Um, to get there, we will be utilizing uh, some other ramp. We have turn two Armored Scrap Gorger for two mana, a zero three, gets plus three plus zero, as long as it has three oil counters on it. We can tap it to add a mana of any color. When we do tap it, we get to exile a card from a graveyard, uh, putting a plus one plus one counter, uh, not a plus one plus one counter, Jesus, uh, an oil counter on it. <laughs> oh man. And uh, so that's phenomenal because A, we ramp, B, we have graveyard control, and C, this is a uh, attacker. You know, if you have two oil counters on it, you can declare this as an attacker. It taps, you take that other card from the grave. Now it's a 3-3, it's dealing damage. Um, so, you know, really, really nice here. The Loam Speaker, eh, eh, kind of similar. No graveyard control though, which is really the bee's knees there. A 1-3 for two, tapping for one mana of any color, and then we can tap it to have a land become a 3-3. Um, so, you know, it does, you know, act offensively, which is quite nice. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, it's the more ramp, the better to make playing of these larger cards more consistent. The Cemetery Prowler can reduce the mana of our cards as well, or our spells. For three mana, it's a 3-4 with Vigilance, enters the battlefield, or attacks Exile card from Graveyard, right? Graveyard control is super important right now, and it's nice to see it be so consistent within green. Uh, and then spells you cast cost one less to cast for each card type shared with the card uh, that is exiled by the Prowler. So, you know, first we want to go uh, creatures, reduce our creatures. Uh, then we want to reduce our stand with instant, right? That's all we're looking to accomplish within this build. Uh, of course, we will have the adaptive as well. Uh, entering with an oil counter on it, it gets plus one, plus one for each oil counter that it has. And whenever you play a creature that has either greater power or toughness than the adaptives, you will accumulate an additional oil counter. The stand for one plus X at instant speed uh, is gonna give target creature hexproof indestructible and plus X plus X, which is quite nice. The Augur of Autumn as a three mana, two, three allowing us to look at the top card of our library, playing lands off the top, and if we have Coven, three different powered creatures, we can cast uh, creatures off the top of our library as well, uh, which is quite nice. And then that's our draw in the deck. We have the Facade to put the Oil Counter on the Spinoderm, who endures as uh, a little bit of the uh, enchantment artifact removal, right? So uh, a very nice deck that we're actually having uh, a lot of fun with. So I hope you all enjoy the mono green aggro for St. Patty's Day. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, become a YouTube member, all that shenanigans. And uh, yeah, let's play some magic. Going first, turn two wrap. Out, ramp out. Don't you dare. Nice. That's a good play. We may as well, because most likely they do it again, and at least this way we'll have the protection. V ran in the house. bigger tie bar so we can potentially block. I'm worried about a thundering Raichu with this fusling, oddly enough, right here.
I may as well push him. Now we have a decent blocker. Let's go green. Take their removal. I guess they're not into my pace of play. I get it. Going first, keeping seven. Turn two ramp is great. What are we playing against, I wonder? What do you say? Do you think they just discard a creature? Can dream. It's a good blocker, but you know, they've got the uh the might, right? So I think we just have to take it. And then we'll play this loam speaker. It's it's that or we're taking who knows how many toxic counters, right? So it's like whatever. Haha. -ha. Good one. Pay life. I dare you. CC. We're actually going to take the land with the Gorger, and the Prowler will take the creature. One, two, three, four, five, six. So not quite the Rexy. Ooh. Bully for you. Hit for two. Accumulating two poison counters. Passing turn. This is four, five, six. Reduction with one from the Rex. Uh, sorry, from the Prowler for the Rex. Maybe. Probably interacted with here, though. Looking for a Gorilla. A Silverback Elder. And then that can take care of the Sentry. It's also a phenomenal blocker. Singer is really good. And then the hive, which is life gain. If this lands. Well, actually, I don't think it will land because our cemetery prowler is a pretty good blocker. Thank you for the raid, Exiled. Appreciate you. F. F's in chat for toxic deck. I feel you. I feel you. Four. Five. Six, seven. Either way. I guess this is our best block. Let's at least take it. Um, we will tap out first. Take their do list. Take our turn. 
play the land. Two, five, six. Oh my god, I did my math wrong. I think we're still better off to remove that, though. Pass turn. We can block here again uh, as a 3-3. Three, three. And then just play the Rex. Weird flex. But okay. Their life gain is brutal. They have big life gain. Ooh. Let's wait till next turn where we have a blocker. Because A, they're applying more toxic counters than we can, and B, they're gaining all that life back that we deal in damage. Oh, ah! Gross. The filer out. Adaptive out for one. Push up the team. That's infinitely better. Let's swing in. Alright, because now we have the Defiler that can block. We have the Scrap Gorger that can block. Nine damage. Four poison counters. Down to eight here. I'm worried there could be more singers. Oh no! Always is, man. Ooh! Somebody's going for it. Do you think they have a tie bar? They could. Ooh. Sexy Rexy off the top. Three mana, two cards. And a, a very good game, actually. You know, that's not an easy deck to beat. It took us uh, a little bit of working. Going first. Nice land. Turn two ramp. Turn three graveyard control, which actually is fairly important. Probably like a what? A mono black deck? I'm going to get this Gorger out right away because that is a massive threat to them. And the earlier that we can start tapping this, the uh, the better it is. And the Shredder. Let's just throw a big boy out there and we'll hold up our protection. I'm a big boy. I need big boy pants. <laughs> oh, man. Recently watched part two. It's so funny. Let's take our turn. Let's 
swing for damage first and foremost. Nothing to eat. The wolf needs his puppy snacks. It's an important part. Blocking? Now this is interesting. Okay. A little slipperoni. That allows us to play multiple cards this turn. Certainly does, Hugh. Certainly does. And they would have got that plus one counter through the knife if we played multiple cards. I wasn't going to because I don't want to buff up their creature, but... Oh, wow. Someone's hitting for two. I kind of want to. Five. Plus five. We play the land as plus six. And then we'd hit four, nine, 12, 13. Not enough. I might just destroy that combat research. <laughs> Does that make it better? Nine. We play the land, which gives us five. Still only 14. Not enough. Trying to play a little bit slower, day to day, because that's where a lot of my misplays lie, is within tunnel vision. So let's just pass over. You know, we could kill that combat research now if we wanted. I don't think it's super necessary. Looks like they bricked out. It's a good game. Our opponent is going first, which is acceptable, especially, I was gonna say when we have such a good hand, but not when we're playing mono black. Oh, cut down. And they always have it, you know, it's just like, a fact of life, deal with it. Here comes another removal spell, go for the throat. No? weird. Just a graveyard trespasser. It's relatively refreshing. Huh. Ramp, 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 Adelphia. Push up the adaptive. I mean, the Spinoderm is now only two mana. Shielder, turn four. Tenacious underdog, okay. So far, so good. Oh, I actually did that in the wrong order. We could have pushed up the adaptive twice, right? Paid. One, two, three. Oh no, we would have been shy of mana, so this is fine. I think the auger, and then we can cast off the top nicely. Let's try to get the adaptive above four too. Invoke Despair. Oh, at least we got one right. Hmm. Sack the Augur? I mean, we have another right here. Not a fan, you know? I 
Again, let's look for the land. Thank you. Let's swing in. Continue to flood. Push up our adaptive. Take their despair. Successfully end turn. Six mana. Okay. Another invoke despair. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a funny joke until you're right. You know? Lose the speaker. It's ridiculous. What a card. We love it. Land off the top. Another land. Brutal. It's brutal, dude. Let's go get him. Pretty big hit. Take another invoke. Four, nine, twelve, fifteen damage here. Or at eleven. Pretty nervous still here. Whoa! Now that is interesting. I did not expect that. Double block on the Spindoderm, which self-sacrifices right away. Seven mana. A third invoke. Probably shield red. And some removal. Cut down the auger, shouldered in. It just makes sense. Oh, they're going for big time removal. Acceptable. Shiro on life gain to eight. Let's take their underdog. Land in play. Oh, another land, dude. Too many lands on the dance floor. Too many lands. Too many lands on the dance floor. Spread out the lands. Big hit to three. Feeling fairly comfortable there. Oh, they're gonna gain life to five. And three cards in hand, we have 11. A third invoke because that is how we like to party. That was um, our coven. Third land, three cards in hand. So I don't, they'd have to remove both. Like, you know, this isn't gonna work. This is still lethal. Land off the top. All attacks. Take invoke again. Why not? And unless that's a cut down to get that auger, that's a good game. Mmm. A good win against an aggressive deck that actually did pretty well for themselves. All right, so you get to go first for the first game, but you're playing against a top 500 player. Still want to go first? I guess. It's a good hand. It's a good hand. And that's all that matters. Going first is irrelevant. 
with some decks it is. Oh, mono red. Ah. Uh. You feel my pain already? Let's hit. I'm the aggro deck now. See, they're gonna kill it anyways. I knew it. I knew it. They kill them both? Holy. That was a big, tough boy. Yes, you are. A soft spear. You can have this one. Next one's mine. And then we have protection, right? And I'd rather the confirmed uh, creature that can block than, you know, just risking it for the brisket. Land on top. Ble I wanted to call this a blessing for some reason, but Tyvar stand in hand. No! which makes a great blocker. <laughs> we have a creature to take. Oh my gosh. Hello. I wonder if we're playing this too close to the chest. I should have taken it before. I know they have it. Yeah, see, okay. At least, you know, I wasn't out to lunch. Ten life still, we can do this. I, this is not a land, unfortunately. Gives them less draw, right? Two instead of five. <laughs> and the festivities are acceptable. Thermal alchemist. And then crushing us. Whatever. Land off the top, please. Yes! And another! That's our seventh. Down to seven. Sexy Rexy. Nine, that's fine. Tap it, tap it real good. End my festivities harder. Down to seven, tap it again to six. Attack for four, that isn't enough. I believe. Just a little bit of insulation. We get this, though. Thanks for the trample, bro. Right on time. Oh, yeah. Hello, good game. Poor Mono Red. Count of four. That's a, that's a big hit, baby. Rexy, Rexy. Going first. Can I get the uh, turn two ramp, please? 
followed by a turn three land. Uh, that is neither. Do you like bricks? I like bricks. This mono white control is everywhere. It's pervasive. Never punished. Thank you so much. Push up our evolving adaptive. Hit for two. Fourth land defiler. If not. Oh, that sucks. We could have really used that. Bully for you. Oh, bully for me too. Push up our adaptive again. Hit for three to fourteen. Four mana, restoration, not great, but could be worse. Just gonna depopulate. Defiler in play. Spinoderm pay life. Whoops. For some reason, I thought we still had uh, one spare mana for the stand, but you know, I guess we're just gonna force their hand. You have a Doom Scar. No, you don't have a Doom Scar. You have a Depopulate. I've been doing that a lot lately. Uh, or Farewell. Please don't depopulate. It could be other things too, like my invitation or an absolutely fantastic good game. Ooh. Man, counting to five is difficult, you know? <laughs> I honestly thought we had the stand-up still. Next turn, we Rex, which is pretty crazy as far as a curve goes. We did miss our turn two mana ramp here as well. Um, when she goes, she goes. Going first, um, no turn one, but uh, turn two is here. Turn three is here. Maybe even... You know, jumping to turn four. Ah, uh, if we survive that long. The fourth line, which is nice. I don't know. If they kill the Gorger, we'll prowl. If not, we'll spin out. Yeah, okay. Sure. Lexicha. Now Rex is down to six. Our derms are three apiece. Secondary Phoenix. Okay, for three, and that's that's a good looking race. Right? I mean, if we can continue to hit for three, they hit for two. That's fine. We are compounding as well. A third Phoenix chick. Are you serious, bro? It's pretty good. They probably dunk on our Prowler. Okay, two land and another Excavator. That's fine. Big hits. Take the impulse. Down to nine. We have lethal next turn. We're at 13. Fifth land. Excavator out. They swing for five. I take it. Imagine being able to do that against a red deck. And we take it. Ooh, woohoo. 
Hello. 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 Good game. Good game. Good game. Oh. 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 Oakley dokely. So, St. Patrick's Day was a success. Sexy Rexy has successfully driven the snakes out, acting as our uh, Saint Patrick or Leprechaun. I don't, I don't really know the lore that that well. Maybe someone can correct me in the comments. Was Saint Patrick indeed a Leprechaun, or are these unrelated? I'll never know. What I do know though is a the deck slaps, and b you're all amazing, and c we're gonna tear open this set booster. Uh, very excited about this. Um, big money, big money, no whammies, right? So, uh, obviously, it's uh, a Mondrak, right? An alt art Mondrak, without doubt, without doubt. Get that out of here. Oh, wow. It was like a fancy rare staring at me on the backside. I can't show you yet, though. You'll have to wait. All right, here we are with our art card. It is a... Necrogen Communion, which I hate. That is a good card, you know? Ooh, Phyrexian Land. One island, please. We have the Warlock here. Sorry, let me get full screen so I can read. The Hive Master. I do this all backwards too, which is quite impressive. The Scrap Trap. Oh, it's like Clap Trap. Raska's Fall, that's a good one. What an annoying card, in fact. Uh, this as well, bring the ending. The Corrupted cards are cool, as well as the Toxic cards. Vanish into Eternity. I don't mind that either, it's pretty cool. Nice, versatile, cheap removal. The Slaughter Singer. Formidable, especially when stacked. The Skitterling. One Paladin. An alt art punisher. That's not too shabby either. The facade, pretty decent land to pick up. A holographic distorted curiosity, a playable card. And then we get Marika Brutal Gladiator. For five mana, a seven four legendary creature, human warrior, must be blocked if able. As long as it's your turn, it has indestructible. And whenever it deals damage to a creature, if that creature was dealt excess damage this turn, that creature's controller sacrifices a non-token creature, non-land permanent. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Not too shabby. I mean, we get the nice Phyrexian land. We get the facade, and then we get a secret layer creature which is pretty cool not too shabby and like i said we are almost out of the uh, set boosters and we're gonna move on now in the coming videos to these uh collector boosters which are a little bit better sorry on the uh distorted screen here usually it focuses a little bit faster but uh you know i guess you'll just have to wait till next video to see my pretty face oh, oh there it is <laughs> have a fantastic day one might even say magical. Thank you for your time, your support. I truly appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, become a YouTube member, Twitch Primes, all that. And we'll see you soon in the next.